Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. So today we're doing a create a sim featuring a new hair that was recently put out. I believe it was last week or something like that. I don't know if it was earlier or later in the week, but the Sims team collabed with D Sims, who's a content creator and simmer, and they came up with this hairstyle, which was the Bantu knots, the one that I'm using in this video, alongside another hairstyle for males, which I mean, like, they, they can be used either frame, obviously, but I thought that was such a cool thing to see them collab with yet again another simmer. I think them doing that is so important because it really does bring diversity to the game, especially like adding hairstyles for black sims because you know we already know that that is something in base game that is very much so and in general lacking and so the fact that that's something that they are working towards adding more of i think is really important now i have yet to look at the other hair that came out and i believe mustaches also came out i don't know what else came with the patch i really didn't look into it i just saw a picture of this hair and i was like immediately need to make a sim the texture of this hair is phenomenal like literally you compare this to base game and it's like night and day like i literally cannot get over how much improvement has gone into hair in this game and like i'm just shocked and it looks amazing i love it so much and i had so much fun making this sim initially what i did two days prior is i had a sim that i made that i've showed you guys in one of my videos of like sims that i've made that i never like really posted or anything like that i had the base recorded of that sim and i was like oh let me just go like give her the hair but for some reason it just didn't suit her as well as it does on this this sim and sometimes that happens is like some hairs just don't look good on every single sim but i think that i might eventually film something for the sim that i have a base for because she's a gorgeous sim and i want to share my process of making her and i think i've been in the mood to just like want to make sims and here's my like thing is like sometimes i'm in like a very much of a creative sim mood and i think too much in my head i'm like i doubt anybody's gonna want to watch a bunch of creative sims one after another if i'm not really in a gameplay mood which is what i'm trying to get back into and i've been mia for a little over a week now which is so weird the time is already gone by so fast and i'm just like how are we almost on a two week break here <laughs> like what's going on but i've been trying to like kind of gain my love for the sims 4 back again and i think going into create a sim and just like relaxing and just taking my time and doing whatever has helped me especially like doing this sim i fully took over an hour making this sim just like you know trying to like pick things and make her look perfect or at least perfect in my eyes i just oh, i had so much fun I literally like I haven't really touched much of sims this whole month as you guys can probably tell by the lack of videos this month I think I've uploaded like three videos this month which is very low for m me usually and so I do apologize on that fact and I know people say you don't need to apologize and I understand but I think no matter what I'll always have that little bit of guilt of not posting and I know that there's many people that do look forward to my content which I do very much appreciate and I apologize for just leaving you guys high and dry <laughs> with nothing but i think this year in general has just been a bit of a struggle for me even like personally in life <laughs> other than content creation i mean everything's just kind of taking a downward spiral which is not ideal and i think it just comes down to me feeling entirely lost whether it is content creation or where i'm going in life like what is my purpose what's my path like and usually i don't try and overthink all of that because i'm more of a take it day by day type of person but obviously like i still have like long-term goals like that i'd like to do and like all that stuff but i don't like to plan ahead most of the time i just like it to just kind of see where life takes me type of thing. Um, and maybe that's nowhere. Maybe <laughs> it's literally nowhere. But I guess we'll see, right? So, um... <laughs> I'm going nowhere hi no but i'm just you know going with the flow and see what happens i guess but i guess long story short i was very sad last week i cried <laughs> i thought about quitting youtube obviously i'm not because i still really enjoy doing this and i would definitely miss making content for you guys and interacting with you guys so that's not happening anytime soon but i do want to get back into recording sims again i feel like putting myself in a box of only sims 
has definitely hurt me in the long run because if you get burnt out of the game, it's like, what are you gonna do? But I wanna try and like maybe post another game or something in between. So we'll see if I end up getting around to that. Like I've been trying to for months with the quarry. Maybe I'll finally do it. So I guess we'll see what happens. But yeah, I hope you guys have been doing well yourselves. I know that life can be hard and the pandemic definitely did not help. So I hope you guys are, you know, doing the best you can and just know that you got this, okay? But now let's go back to talking about my sim. I haven't named her yet. I don't know what I'm gonna name her. I feel like she needs some sort of like a badass name because she looks so cool. Like when I went to go style her, like for some reason initially I was like, okay, I need to have piercings on her. And then I wanted like a really cool like fashion-y outfit because I feel like a lot of the time, I mean, I guess sometimes I do try to go for like fashion, but I think like majority of the time my looks are just very like simple. They're not anything too too crazy I don't think not that this outfit is anything too crazy either like I just wanted to go like more fashiony you know like something that you would see maybe on Instagram like a fashion post or something like that and so like I went a little bit out of my own comfort box and like I wish I styled my sims more like this and honestly maybe I should just like do more fashiony type of looks and I think the secret to that really is just to mix and match things that you wouldn't typically add to an outfit like I think for me with this look was just adding those gloves on I just it changed it the whole thing for me like the vibe of the fit just felt so different and I loved it and I was like oh my god like this is a look so I kept it another thing that I feel like would have worked really well with this outfit is those small glasses that they have that you can like that sit like on top of your nose and like you can still see the full eye and everything the only thing is like I was going to do that but the problem was I couldn't because of the lashes and the piercings glitching out for some reason skin details lashes glitch with some of the piercings I have which is sort of annoying because then I can't do glasses piercings and I eyelashes so I had to use the um, accessory lashes in order for them to work and I could have maybe found another lash but I just really liked these ones on her and I didn't want to go like too crazy with lashes because sometimes I like going big and bold but this time I decided to just not and when it came to the outfit I decided to go for a blue and white theme which I guess the eyeliner kind of already picked that for me I just thought that the blue looked really good and I ended up sticking with it and that bra I think is literally the first thing I put on her and I was like I need to use it and so we did that the skirt I felt like the pattern was really cool which is also another thing that I feel like I don't always play with is like these funky patterns that some of the items come with and shoes were a little bit of a struggle as well because I really wanted like a chunky shoe and although like I like the shoe that she's wearing, I was picturing something else in my mind of what she could wear. But I still feel like the shoe that I end up giving her still works with the fit. But nonetheless, I think it looks so good. I literally, oh, like I am obsessed with her. I cannot get over it. I love like from head to toe, she looks so good. And I, oh, she's so pretty. Oh yeah, also another thing is usually I also use like realistic contacts. But in my last cast video, which was me only using presets to make my sim and no sliders, in that one, I got new default eyes, which is linked in that video as well. But I really love these eyes that I didn't feel like I needed to change them. I was looking at realistic eyes that I wanted to use, but I don't know, maybe these are my new default eyes. I feel like I love them enough that I could use them. I know there was another default eye that I really want to check out, but I lost the link to them, which I need to try and see if I can find them and try them out. But for now, I think these are the ones that I'm going to be using. So I might have to update my Tumblr resources <laughs> to show that these are the ones that I'm using. But yeah, I can definitely picture this sim living in the city, being a Simstagram model, and doing photo shoots in her nice apartment. And a lot of the time, like when I make sims, I really want to play through their lives but I just know that's probably never gonna really happen. I just make them and then just like imagine what their lives would be like. So yeah, love her though, like to pieces. I can't even get over it. Like she's so cute. Also the thumbnail for this video, I spent literally over an hour working on it. Doesn't even look, maybe like I worked on it for an hour, but I did, trust. It looked, oh, I love it though, so. With that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.